Down tilt. I would do perfect pivot, pivot down tilt. Lucas can do some weird like jab jab, like pivot then jab jab again. It's very strange. It doesn't really work. Right. And here, oh, uh, we have Cree versus Archie. Uh, uh, Smashville. Interesting stage to go to for this matchup. Um, then again, Villager probably. How much does Villager like this stage? I don't actually know. I'm not sure either, to be completely honest. I do know. I, I just feel like. Cree just uh, likes it. No, like uh, an Archie might like this because it's gonna be easier to get in if Cree. Uh, because we know he likes to make that fortress. Make that wall, man. He literally sets up like a treehouse just there. Mm -hmm. And then just hangs around in it. And then if there's an intruder, he, he fights to the death. <laughs> Kree is a very interesting villager. Like, he does some weird stuff that doesn't make sense in, unless you've played him a lot. I mean, uh, like I said earlier, if you haven't already, if you follow Kree at Kree318 on Twitter, he has some... Uh, crazy uh, village attack. Uh, mm -hmm, definitely. He, he pulls out and a lot of people don't know and they consider it jank, but if you don't know the character, you don't know the matchup. Aww. Oh, yeah. He tried to chop the tree, probably trying to get a wood chip, but it yeah. died right as he went to go do it. Kree does have some uh, wood chip shenanigans as well. The needles pop. No, the needles hit him. And yeah, the going for popped. neutral jump. Or, uh, get up, or going for jump off the ledge. And. Oh, getting the right read of that 50-50. Are they coming through the microphone over there? I don't know. The mics are really sensitive right now. So, yeah, I don't really know. Thank you. Tom after. Literally every time. You can tell him now. Ah, he's going to tell him now. And right now, but, uh, we have an extremely even game. Like Still so extremely good. even. Just kidding. Look, that frame trap is pretty rough for <laughs> and anyone. What you want to do versus Villager, and a lot of people don't do it, is go off stage. If they're up being, go off stage. Because what are they going to do when they're up being? They're gonna I mean, you're, you're probably not going to kill them. But you're still getting a lot of percent, mm -hmm. and that's going to matter later in the game. And they have gas. Yes. They work similar to Rob now. Yes, they have a lot of gas. Mm -hmm. Maybe Villager. it's all those turnips. Maybe maybe they can guess it. Maybe Villager just has a can of beans they were supposed to bring. Decided to eat that instead. I mean, it makes sense if it were like, Dakun! I thought that was going to combo. If that comboed. If that comboed, I honestly would have just gone on to Twitch myself and flipped it. <laughs> That would have been great. Just kidding. Did you just like quote the Mortal Kombat? Twisty? I didn't quote anything. If I did, then it's accidental. Well, you, it sounded like you did like the. I said wood chip. Never yeah, mind. it sounded like you did it like the inflection of Toasty from MK, the original. It might be. <laughs> it probably is. Ooh, good uh, air dodge read with the up smash. Just getting a decent amount of percent. And I'm wondering if you went for it there. Because on Villager, it may not work later. Uh, maybe? Because otherwise, I, I always try to save stuff like that. Uh, unless I get it really early, so just for extra damage. Just save mm -hmm. it for like later for when it's going to matter. If your character struggles killing like she does. Yeah, yes. definitely. Um, right now, Kree's... I like that. Down take fish right over the Lloyd. And that's the thing is, uh, what we did see in G4, uh, obviously the character is... I mean, G3, my bad. Uh, with Zero versus Renai, obviously uh, Sheik is a bit different, uh, having a much harder time to kill not having the 50-50, and I'll get back to that after this, Kree uh, just is getting a strike Ooh. there. Ooh. <laughs> he uh, was like, you're gonna jump? Nah. Smack him out of the air with a bowling ball. You know, that does. if you think about it, how does dropping a bowling ball do that much damage and knock you away? Like, it's just gonna hurt your foot. Your foot? But you die. You die. I'm pretty positive. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, but what was I saying? There? Something oh, yeah. about you right. We saw Zero and Renai. Obviously, the character is much, uh, it's a bit different uh, from uh, post patch, having a lot harder time to kill because the 50/50s uh, are much harder to get on. It's much harder for her to kill. And it's also harder but, for her to get in for needles. Yeah. But that's the thing uh, is, even after all that. Sheik, once she's in, 
That wall, it's, she can do a lot of work. She can do a lot. Um, matchup gets really difficult for any, for Villager in period, when someone gets in. That, that was the longest hit stun I have ever seen from any move in this game. I, in, you know, I don't even know. And that wasn't zero, what? It was because it was hitting the growing tree and the water droplets. What, the water droplets have her boxes? What? I don't, I don't know, but maybe they oh, do. They're going to chase down. <laughs> the two turn, was that two or one turn up? I think it was, may have been two. It wasn't But I know it was sure. the weak hit for sure. Right now, uh, Archie seems to be struggling to get back on stage. Yeah, and it was funny. Me and Archie were playing on uh, Wi-Fi Friendlies the other day, and uh, he was wondering. Uh, he was just messing around, playing with all the characters. Ended up playing with Villager, and it's like, how do people use this character? Man? I just don't get it. And Creed giving him, giving him the whole manual, the whole book, uh, <laughs> showing him. Uh, all right, this is exactly what you gotta do. First off, you gotta be really memey. This is character itself is memey. Uh, second, um, you have to be a mare. <laughs> What's for mare? So, yeah, you gotta be very, very creative, actually, with a villager. <laughs> creative! Ha! Uh, I, I did not mean to use that pun, but obviously, uh, we, we all know uh, crits for those puns on uh, getting the bouncing fish. You're welcome, stream. I'm proud of that one now. <laughs> and right now, Archie is. Put that one in the book. The autobiography of uh, crits later in Smash for uh, yeah, Smash 3. Yes! Right now, Archie does have a little bit of a lead. Um, obviously, mm. Villager can kill. And yeah, knowing you had a lot of lag off of the, uh, after landing with an up B, uh, using a very big punish with the bowling ball. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't disagree with it at all. Definitely. But this still is 56% um, on Kree in an edge guard uh, situation. Using the Lloyd to cover his uh, option. Right now, Archie's looking really clean. Mm, Archie trying to go for the, go for it all, trying to stomp on him with the down air. Uh, maybe trying to catch the jump from ledge or even the very ending frames of tangibility. Can I take a moment to mention that how smart those stabs were from Kree at the ledge because they pushed him off, whether or not she was shielding, because they were just straight up safe. Oh. And that's gonna take it. We're going on to a game three. What stage do you think they're potentially going to go to? I feel like Archie's going to ban. Uh, I heard it, so I feel kind of cheated. But I feel like I thought he was going to ban uh, uh, Battlefield. But basically, he banned Triplats. So he bans Triplats versus Villager. That makes sense. Because uh, you want to have a more horizontal. Yeah, and they, he can has much more mind games with the battle uh, with uh, platforms. But I feel like we're going to go to Town City. They? Or maybe Vex Smash for you, Lutzen? But he's thinking. I yeah. I don't think I've ever really seen Kree take anyone to Lilat on purpose. Three, two, one, go! So we're on Town and City. Um, how good? I mean, Sheik is good on every stage, but in this matchup, do you think this is a good stage for Sheik, or is it a better stage for Villager? Uh, I mean, it does switch between FD and the platform that we see right now. Uh, so it honestly, depends on how he decides to play it. Uh, if he, the way he's playing it right now, uh, it is a pretty big stage, like, horizontally. Uh, so if he wants to get those footage in, take his time, find his way in, uh, then it's gonna be perfect if he wants to. And if Kree wanted to do that as well, which I feel like, uh, might, uh, be the key here, is at least setting up, uh, a little more tools or obstacles in his way. And Kree got one hit, and suddenly he was able to string Archie along over, all the way to 75. But now that we're in the FD portion, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's basically pretty even for the two but at the end of the day. I mean, right now, they're, they're very close in percent. Yeah. Um, and this matchup is definitely whoever can get the kills first, um, either offstage for Sheik or with some sort of random move from Villager. Mimi, as you said earlier. Random? Taunting fish. No, RG, uh, I, know, I see a lot of... Uh, Sheiks go for this when they uh, when they are being zoned out or attempted to. Uh, they'll try to read when it's going to happen and bouncing fish right over there at optimal spacing uh, and just a little bit misspacing it there and falling right into the clutches of uh, green. And right now, Free has the wood chip in hand. 
Throwing it up. Trying to yeah. pick it up again, but not able to. And catching mm -hmm. Lloyd uh, pull out that time. And good job of keeping... He's been doing actually a good job of keeping Kree at the corner. If he got hit with that grab, it was over because uh, Villager's back throw is the second strongest, I believe. Uh, Nessa's being the strongest and... Ooh, that was Lucas a clutch spot there. dodge. Mm -hmm. F tilt. Does F tilt kill? Uh, from Villager? Yes. Yes? Okay. Do all of Villager's moves kill? Except jab? Essentially. And obviously, up being pocket. I mean, even pocket could technically kill, depending on... If, if you have something in it, but like yeah. naturally the move itself. Yeah. Unless it's like versus Master Lucas. Sad days, man. It feels bad. Ooh, Ooh, I'm liking the good. mind games from Archie, Ooh. but Kree able to good keep up. Tech. Not to try, looking like he's trying to get himself a PR win, and both of them taking their sweet time, knowing that whoever gets the stock, first stock here is going to have a lot of momentum and is going to be playing the extra credit game. And right now, it's an even game. Keep in mind, it did take them about three minutes to take off each other's first stocks. Oh, it looks like Archie slid like he was sliding on those jabs. Like he cut the tree down himself. Looking like Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's even got a red. Oh, the chic. It's the chic of the apples. It was a fun joke. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I am uh, uh, trying to work on that on commentary. But regardless of that, uh, <laughs> he's, the, he's the one. Right now, it looks like Kree is. Oh! Kree is catching on to the bouncing fish over the Lloyd. And able to perfect shield it, but not able to get anything out of it. Uh, trying to predict their approach with the up tilt. A little bit mistiming on that. that and that's tilt. the thing that's scary about fair from Sheik is that they can they have so many tempos from when you use fair. Mm -hmm. uh, and has like no lag. And they have so many oh my situations no. they can put you in. Okay, what was that? Hmm, I like the early Ooh. bouncing fish. Going for the down air there, and I think at this percent, just Archie needs to be a little bit more careful. Obviously trying to go for a mix up <laughs> to really catch him off guard. And he was bouncing fishing. Very dangerously for yeah. most of the match, actually. Um, I mean, at the end of the match, most definitely, because yeah. Kree had caught on. And Archie was... Um